एकाधिवाक्षर ब्रह्म एकाधिवाक्षर परम एकाधिवाक्षर ज्ञावा जो यदि तुता एकाधिवाक्षर ब्रह्म एकाक्षर परम एकाधिवाक्षर ज्ञावा जो यदि तुता गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट फॉल्स ही गो दैट इंडिपेंडेंट भाव वॉट वी आर हैविंग इन ऑर्डर टू क्विट दैट ऑल द टाइम वी जस्ट नीड टू प्रे वी हैव टू गेट शरणागत ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड दैट मंत्र दैट नाम शब्द वॉट इट इज कमिंग इन द मंत्र दैट नमो शब्द विच इज कमिंग इन द मंत्र दैट नमो शब्द वॉट डू यू मीन बाई दैट प्रोपाद स्पीकिंग दैट प्रोपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग द नमो द वर्ड नमो कमिंग इन द दैट अहंकार फॉल्स ही गो दैट इंडिपेंडेंट भाव दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू लीव दैट दैट एंड यू गेट टू हैव टू गेट शरनागट ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ दैट इज कॉल्ड नाम दैट इज फ्रॉम इन साइड योर हार्ट दैट कंप्लीटली सरेंडर्ड मूड विदाउट एनी फॉल्स ही गो यू जस्ट आर एक्चुअली लिविंग फॉल्स ही गो एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड नमो दैट ओ गुरुदेव हे वैष्णव दैट आर फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम योर्स एंड यू आर माइन दिस इज माई ओनली प्रॉपर्टी इन लाइफ दैट यू डू क्रिप ऑन मी सो दैट यू जस्ट टेक मी आउट ऑफ ऑल दिस एंड यू जस्ट गिव मी सेवा दैट इज द ओनली थिंग आई वॉन्ट दैट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स दैट आई बी जस्ट लिविंग माई फॉल सी गो एंड माई इंडिपेंडेंट भाव आई एम कम्प्लीटली लिविंग दैट एंड आई योर वॉट एवर इज योर इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड उद्देश्य वॉट रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन दैट इज द फाइनल टारगेट ऑफ माई लाइफ एंड इट विल बिकम द ओनली प्रॉपर्टी इन माई लाइफ दैट जस्ट लाइक ध्रुव स्टार इट विल बी जस्ट फिक्सड आई हैव टू फॉलो दैट ओनली it will just be it will be just staying with me that whatever instructions rules regulations whatever you have given me it will just become the just like a thru star it will become like inside my heart fixed it will become fixed inside my heart that is my actual prayer on to your lotus feet that is my only prayer on to your lotus feet that's it and no other uh, prayer i have on to your lotus feet that my life this is the only and only prayer that's it that i am the doer and i am the enjoyer that i am the enjoyer and i am the every this is all actually false ego we all material false ego when we are actually uh, depriving it we are when quitting it it is called namaskar namo That is called नमन का and that I am the doer. This दुर्बुद्धि this kind of false विच आर वॉट यू आर हैविंग दैट गुरुपाद पद्म बाय द कृप ऑफ गुरुपाद पद्म वेन इट इज कंप्लीटली गोइंग अवे अप टिल दैन इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन दैट यू विल गेट द एक्चुअल दीक्षा और दिव्य ज्ञान दैट एक्चुअल दिव्य ज्ञान और एक्चुअल दीक्षा यू कैन गेट इन योर लाइफ आफ्टर दैट एंड दिव्य ज्ञान विल गेट मैनिफेस्ट इन साइड योर हार्ट अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल नो पॉस नो चांस ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटी टू हैव दिव्य ज्ञान एट ऑल अप टिल वेन ब्रह्मा जी महाराज when brahma ji maharaj apna is uh, 
inside his heart whatever kind of uh, uh, what to do what not to do and false ego it was still there inside his heart that i am the doer up till that point nothing has happened and when in the when marma ji maharaj going forward and just speaking भगवान दैट दैट पॉइंट हैज जस्ट टेकन हिम इन हिज ऑन टू हिज लोटस फीट एंड बिफोर दैट भगवान हैजन टेकन हिम हंड्रेड परसेंट भगवान विल नॉट टेक एनी वन इफ सम वन वॉन्ट्स टू कम टू भगवान एक्चुअली देन भगवान ओनली विल टेक हिम अदरवाइज नॉट गुरु पाद पद्म भाई गुरु का पाद पद्म कृपा वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ फॉल्स ही गो और वेन एच एक्चुअली ऑल फॉल्स इंटेलिजेंस इज गोइंग आउट फ्रॉम आर माइंड एंड देन ओनली वी कैन गेट द एक्चुअल वास्तविक दीक्षा इन आवर लाइफ एंड देन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिव्य ज्ञान कैन बी पॉसिबल इन साइड में कृष्ण पृष्ठ गुरुदेव वेन ही वेन ही इज इन द प्रकट लीला इन द अपेयर लीला अप टिल दैट पॉइंट up till that point that gurudev's that vishram baseva of gurudev just to serve him that is the top most intelligence that is the actual intelligent person he is the top most intelligent that is the actual intelligence actual symptom of intelligence that gurudev in the uh, when gurudev is appeared on this material world because when gurudev is appeared it is very much easy to get divya gyan i can just he can just speak with me he can i can just share whatever is there he can do anything with us at that time that is very much uh, good prabhupad actually speaking that krishna prest guru pad padma when he is actually appeared in this appeared leela if some kind of uh, vishamb seva that by that vishamb seva that he wants to get some siddhi that that is the actual topmost intelligence you will get in your life but that same same guru pad padma kintu but that same otimorto se gurudev that shri gurudev gurudev jab tak hum priti when i am actually not at all becoming self surrendered then priti vasisht is not at all 100% there inside me up till that point in order to get siddhi it is not at all possible guru pad padma guru pad padma that inside our heart that my body speech and mind everything i have given on to lotus path par and the inside the heart of guru pad padma what is there that my heart and soul everything become gets oneness with gurudev and i am just thinking that heart and soul of gurudev is mine and if everything i have surrendered on to the lotus feet of guru pad padma completely if i will be doing that then definitely i am actually getting uh, off from my pathway when i am not at all serving my guru pad padma that is actually called vanchit that you actually called you are getting uh, away from guru pad padma vanchit vanchit means to getting uh, get away from guru pad padma that i am becoming get i am lost from the pathway of guru pad padma if i am not at all serving gurudev that inside the guru pad padma whatever is there inside his heart just by doing this kaam seva and i cannot uh, impress guru pad padma then definitely be sure that i am getting uh, lost from the pathway of guru pad padma definitely that only and only protector of mine that my only udhar karta who can just protect me and help me that nirvadik band of my top most friend and my top most savior is guru pad padma only who can just uh, who just for my protection is actually all the time uh, uh, thinking of me and my only and only protector and savior and maintainer and the only savior and protector and the top most savior and protector of mine is only guru pad padma apart from that no one is there in this whole material world prapt hone ka baad bhi in order to get that also this kind of uh, treasure we are actually losing so much uh, uh, significance we are having so much advantage 
so much advantage we are having after that also still that my uh, luck is very much bad that kind of pran bandhu guru pad padma even if i'm getting his association still i haven't done anything in my life and my life is so much bad that everything is lost from my life i haven't done anything in my life this is my actually uh, ill luck that i haven't served my guru pad padma at all I Surdhani Surdhani means that Surdhani means that I Surdhani ka nikat aaya I am just coming uh, close to Ganga and I am actually going away from that pathway I am going towards a desert area not towards Ganga I am just running towards the desert area I am just coming close to the Ganga but still I am going towards the pathway of desert I am actually going towards Ganga in order to take some water and just want to remove my thirst but what happened that I am just going towards the desert area I am started running towards the desert area in order to think that topmost treasure that rare treasure this I if I will be getting in order to get I have already got that rare treasure but still I am actually getting lost in this uh, attractive Maya Devi that kind of uh, webbing of uh, webbing of maya devi what is made by maya devi is actually getting trapped in that still so this uh, material world so much nice arrangements just like a glass it looks like externally very nice it looks like but externally that i am actually getting running towards that only by just throwing that rare treasure that topmost jewel and topmost diamond i am getting but still i am going towards the opposite direction Oh my god this is total destruction of mine so those people who are actually actually intelligent they are nishkapat they are actually nishkapat actual nishkapat and and with anya vilashun without any anya vilash inside them that full sharanagati on the lotus feet of guru pad padma and having this kind of total sharanagati and faith and when they are getting that on to guru pad padma otherwise they also have to uh, become vanchit vanchit means they also have to get lost the don't need to leave that pathway what the guru pad padma has given us we don't need to leave that pathway that mantra that is guru the mantra the mantra is equivalent to guru what hari naam is that guru that is only hari there is no difference between that at all just be sure about that there is no kind of any doubt about it no doubt is there and no doubt is there that is actually guru there is actually no doubt about it that is actually guru but still my uh, luck is so ill that i can't understand whatever is going on i can uh, also remember that brahma ji maharaj he is actually just discovered himself on to the lotus flower which is coming from the navel portion of bhagwan that uh, lotus flower Bha- brahma ji has discovered himself on that and all the four direction there is darkness and darkness all around and just by seeing he is become very much afraid by seeing that and after that what happened after that what happened that this bhagwan the actual shakti of bhagwan that vak shakti saraswati aprakrit saraswati that the actual saraswati of vaikuntha jagat there one mantra brahma ji maharaj has got from aprakrit saraswati and after that he is speaking that you just go on speaking this mantra राज बाय दिस मंत्र ओनली यू विल बी getting the top most mangal happiness and top most siddhi you will get that you will get the top most mangal in that and after that there is one kind of uh, uh, instruction given to him one aerial voice 
just came out of that. And by this mantra only, just by doing, you have to do tapasya, topmost tap you have to do by this mantra only. And after that, I have already discussed one point regarding this. What I have told you? This I have already, already discussed it, but still I am actually speaking it again. Brahma Ji Maharaj, that same Govind Ji Maharaj, just in order to get that same Govind, has done a lot of tap at Shweta Dip. That tapasya he is actually started doing. That mantra what he got, he started uh, chanting that mantra. And after that, how what is the actual procedure? How to do the meditation of that mantra? The meditation of that mantra about that I will be discussing it further. Uh, this is actually Chintamani Bhumi, this Kolok Dham. And there are actually thousands of uh, infinity lotus flowers are there with lotus petals on it. And there is one uh, lotus flower is actually there, transcendental lotus flower. And on that lotus flower, in the inside inner portion of that lotus flower, that uh, topmost asan is actually uh, manifested there. There actually one asan is manifested. And in that, that is from the lotus mouth, that Shabda Brahma, that is that this Vilasini Gopikas by those Vilasini Gopikas are actually getting served by all those Vilasini Gopikas it is actually served by all those Vilasini Gopikas and and who is this Gopi that all our Ansh Vilaswarup by her Ansh Vilaswarup Parikars Bhagavan is getting served that different different kind of Ansh and Shakti by that Bhagavan is getting served and that by same upasya vastu, that worshipable object, that same worshipable object, that kind of rup dharini prakirti, transformation of that prakirti shakti, externally very far away, living very far away, at a very far distance from Bhagwan, she is actually worshipping that upasya vastu, worshipable object Bhagwan, at a very far distant place. The actual the example, the actual thing I have told you. That Dhyate Vastu is the topmost transcendental object. Worshipable object. That object, just by you are actually making an effort to just uh, put a focus on that particular object, that is actually Chilmai. All three, are, if are on the transcendental platform, then only then you can get the actual object in your life. That dhyata, dhyan, dhyata, dheo, and dhyan. If these three things are there, then only your meditation is successful, and in further step, you can get the actual worshipable object, that upasya vastu. If it is there, then it is only possible, otherwise, it's not possible at all. Dhyata Vishay, may be 
it actually is, is, is not Sampoon Chinmay. That, but still, according to the actual, uh, that Satchura Jutamo Guna, that Durga, Durga Swarup, that Apara Shakti is taking the form of Durga, that Maya Shakti. She is actually just focusing on the lotus feet of Bhagwan from a very far distant place. She is actually just serving Bhagwan by focusing and meditating on to the transcendental features of that uh, Upasya object Bhagwan. But uh, her own Rajotamo Sato Subhav that serves uh, Rajo Sato Tamogun, that Durga, Durgadi in the form of Durga, that Aparashakti Maya in the form of Durga. She is actually serving with full worshipable mood. She is actually doing meditation of Krishna all the time. So the actual fixed point is that, which is to, which is true, true, that where actually is there material kamna is there, where there is material uh, kam is there. If material kam is there inside our heart, then definitely Maya Devi, they will become the worshipable object for those. See that Durga will become the worshipable object in front of us. Where inside our heart there is uh, prakrit or material kam is there inside our heart then definitely the actual worshipable object will be Maya Devi for us. That Maya Devi will become the Upasivastu. Upasivastu means she will become the worshipable object for us. Where there is a material kamna inside our heart, there we are getting the worship of Maya Devi. It means that uh, those who are actually doing, that Maya Devi who is doing the bhajan of Bhagwan. Where actually there is a material karma inside his inside heart of anyone, there that upasyatat of Maya Devi, that that Maya Devi's upasyatat is actually uh, worshipable. But still, but still, the puja of Maya Devi, worship of Maya Devi is indirectly where there actually is material karma inside our heart there if there is actually material karma that uh, Maya Devi's Upasya is actually Upasya is and if there is no material karma but still that what we are actually that what actually is written in the Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran Shlok this I have already told you. It means that where actually is material karma inside our heart, that Durga will become the actual worshipable object. Definitely Durga will be worshipped there if uh, any kind of material karma is there inside our heart. But when there is no material karma, and if no material karma is there, then okay it also. Then only we have to just worship Bhagwan only. In both the cases, we have to worship Bhagwan only. That actually the meaning of Bhagavat Vakya, what's written in the Bhagavatam. That the actual meaning of this Bhagavatam Shloka, which I have already told you, that this same Bhagavat Shlok, the actual meaning of that is that maybe that Bhagavad Vibhuti Swarup, that all the other demigods, sometimes they are actually becoming favorable on me, and just by getting satisfied, that some uh, demigods are having different different kinds of powers because Adhikari Devata, those demigods. Those predominating uh, devatas in that predominant deities have different different kind of powers in them. And according to their powers, they actually distribute their uh, uh, satisfaction level. And the kind of power what Bhagwan has given to them, power that adhikarik devatas, the demigods, that kind of uh, blessings which they uh, give us, that kind of blessings, this power, actually it is coming from Bhagwan only. The power actually they are using to give blessings to the others. They got it from Bhagwan only. That's why. Bhagavad Vibhuti Rup. 
that Bhagavad Vibhuti Surup that other uh, demigods also just by giving a very unique uh, blessings to someone they are actually eligible but those who are topmost intelligent persons they actually not at all worshipping any of the demigods and they should not worship demigods at all and in turn they should worship supreme lord from body speech and mind that those who are actually in, actually intelligent they don't need to worship all these demigods at all that uh, parmeshwar bhagwan in bhagwan shri krishna only that kind of topmost purity you can get this is the actual vidhan of all the shastras you don't need to go uh, in reverse by this instructions what in the written in the shastras that's why according to this that according to this uh, estimation if we will actually make an estimation according to this that those who are top most intelligent that in uh, in the intelligent people that top most intelligent person is that who can understand that uh, that in all the top most of all the mahishis is that mahishi he can be spoken as an actual mahishi those he can understand that this this life is of two days and they can get the actual nectar in order to get that they are actually making all efforts to get that actual nectar in their life in order to get that actual nectar in their life they are putting all the efforts in that that is actually uh, valuable to do that is actually uh, valuable this is actually just two days life this two days life just by getting that it has no value at all this kind of understanding you should get that is a top most intelligent that uh, actual nectar what kind of uh, efforts you are putting to get that actual nectar that is actually called the actual intelligent person and brahma ji is uh, that in sakam bhakti also there is one kind of sak- nishkam avastha bhakti mein thakur speaking that actually in the last part of this book that by five shlokas it is being described by bhakti mein thakur it will come later when we will be discussing it otherwise we will be getting a very opposite kind of bhavna inside our heart that if bhagwan is if bhagma ji having sakam bhakti ho nishkam tak can come in him we can have this kind of vichar that how he can get he is actually sakam he is not at all nishkam so we can do aparad so all the bonded jeevas that swarup siddhi the bonded jeevas having that swarup siddhi by not getting that up to that point there will be in that sakal bhakti there is some nishkam condition is there that is very much important that uh, by bonded jeevas when they are not at all getting swarup siddhi that is the actual uh, stable bhajan that sulab sulab means stable feasible or stable bhajan he can become eligible to do feasible bhajan who has this kind of uh, courage to do this kind of bhajan feasible bhajan so bonded jeevas having that swarup siddhi just by having that by just having this life also just by living this life if in this life only that he can get up to swarup siddhi and apart from that he can go up to swarup siddhi that is the actual feasible bhajan it means that sahab sadhya sulab means so that you can get a very nice feasible bhajan you can get a feasible bhajan in this life and after that seven number shloka there is a four lines in that seven number shloka i have already told गायत्री 
गायत तस्माद अधिगत्तो सरो जज संस्कृत आदि गुरुना दियतम अगम What actually is being told here? Bale atho beno ninadasho trayi murti mayi gati hi spuranti devasu mukha vijani swayam bhu. Gayatri gayataha tasmad adhigato saroja jaha shaskritasya shaskritasya adi guruna dijat dijatyam agamat tak. इसका माने क्या है वॉट डिज इट मीन एक्चुअली एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज दैट दैट दिस मंत्र जस्ट बाय गेटिंग दिस मंत्र आफ्टर दैट दैट अतरंग शक्ति ऑफ भगवान सरस्वती शी हैज जस्ट बाय दैट दैट मंत्र वॉट इज गिवन बाय दैट अप्राक सरस्वती दिस मंत्र एक्चुअली इज बींग टेकन बाय ब्रह्मा जी महाराज दैट मंत्र जस्ट बाय स्लोली स्टेडली डूइंग दिस चप ऑफ दैट मंत्र वॉट हैपन That Ved Matri Gayatri just uh, they have seen Bhagwan just by seeing Bhagwan like this that all those uh, paraphernalia and all parigar and Bhagwan is getting served by all the Vilasini Gopis I have already told you. We just have seen that Bhagwan is actually just there uh, on the top most asan and Chintamani Bhumi. And Chintamani Bhumi. That is the infinity lotus petals. By that, there is one uh, lotus flower. Is there with infinity petals? and this lotus flower that in inner portion of that lotus flower there is one the topmost mahasan is there on that that chidanand jyoti roop sanatan shri krishna actually is established there and manifesting himself on that mahasan and by from his lotus mouth there is that uh, topmost flute is just going on that transcendental sound from the flute is coming that from by a venu that bhagwan from the venu of bhagwan that topmost transcendental sound is actually uh, coming out there is topmost transcendental sound coming out from the lo- transcendental flute of krishna and you can't even expect that and that uh, uh, her own swarup shakti is getting uh, manifested that vilasini gopi goes by that she is actually he is actually served by all those vilasini gopis and all those vilasu parikar is actually arranged and decorated by them and he is getting served by them all the time and this same upasya worshipable object bhagwan is uh, actually kunamai गुरुमय रूप धारी बाय दैट सेम उपास्य वस्तु कृष्ण दैट एब्सोल्यूट उपास्य वस्तु कृष्ण दैट टॉप मोस्ट उपास्य वस्तु उपास्य वस्तु कृष्ण विच द टॉप मोस्ट वर्शिपेबल ऑब्जेक्ट दैट प्रकृति 
is actually just from a very far distant place from very far distant place she is actually just uh, doing worship of uh, nandanandan krishna uh, from a very far distant place why because maya devi cannot come cannot come in front of bhagwan directly at all brahma ji maharaj is uh, just apna uh, anubhav kar li practically realized all these points and after they taking the darshan of uh, transcendental swarup of krishna or and baad mein jo bataya after that what i have already told it means that bhagwan when is just blowing flute on that when doing flute that kind of transcendental sound vibration of the flute he yeah, is taking a form of very prahat swarup a big swarup in the form of gayatri he is actually coming in front of us that from the venu of krishna only it is getting established and this kind of gayatri mantra is get manifested from bhagwan that which is very top most uh, uh, that in the flute of krishna that all the kind of vedas that infinity uh, music and upanishads are already manifest are there in the manifesting position there and swayam swayam bhu swayam bhu brahma has four faces and in those four faces from each face it means that he must be having eight ears if brahma ji having four faces and definitely eight ears are there and eight eyes are there so swayam bhu brahma has four faces eight eyes and eight ears and in his eight ears those transcendental sound vibration in the form of vedas is getting manifested inside brahma ji maharaj and uh, in uh, eight kind of ears of uh, brahma ji maharaj that it is coming onto the lotus mouth of brahma ji maharaj because her his ears eyes and mouth is all actually in line with each other if we will be giving drop in eyes definitely it will come in our throat if we will go in put drop in the ears the drop will come into the throat throat so in this eight karna out of this eight karna so by this eight ears this vamshi vandan the top most which is taken the form of gayatri is get is coming inside the eight ears of brahma and is getting manifested there inside the ears of brahma what it will do that it is just coming in the lotus mouth of brahma in the form of vedas that padma yoni means that brahma ji maharaj that same geet that gayatri mantra after getting that that by adi guru bhagwan shastriti lab karo he is getting that the top most dwiju bhav dwijatva after uh, speaking gayatri like in our uh, samaj there is one kind of rules and regulation when the boy is giving from 8 to 12 years old he should be getting dwij sanskar that janeu sanskar he should get and in that janeu sanskar when he is getting that after that that mantra what is given to him that is called brahm gayatri and this brahm gayatri jo hai this brahm gayatri what it is this brahm gayatri at the in early in the morning savite before the before the uh, appearance of sun that kind of very uh, transcendental realization comes inside our heart while just uh, uh, doing the gayatri before uh, sunrise gayatri is nothing but this is just one kind of chandra of vedic of vedas gayatri means that actual meaning of the gayatri means that by just uh, uh, speaking that that song which you will be speaking you will be getting topmost peacefulness in your heart that is called gayatri gayana trayana means you are getting topmost peaceful and transcendental peacefulness in your heart by just speaking that you are getting that topmost peacefulness in your heart that is called gayatri 
Brahma ji has uh, all the eight years inside the eight years it is getting manifested and is getting inside in the lotus mouth of Brahma ji in the form of Vedas and this uh, same Gayatri when actually is getting heard by Brahma that that kind of dvijat bhav is coming out of that that dvijanma that first birth is from the womb of a mother that then this is actually material birth what you are getting and after that you are getting the second birth dvijanma dvijat bhav that dvijat sanskar you are getting by getting the gayatri and after that that getting the mantra diksha by getting the diksha mantra that is becoming transcendental where kam gayatri etc kam bij everything is there in it ashtadakshashara mantra raj every mantra is there by diksha if you will get that that if some from very realized soul or you are getting topmost kind of bhakti nishtha you are having on to lotus feet of gurudev slowly steadily when you are moving ahead then immediately he will get the result of that that we have already seen in brahmat bhagavat amrita that the sakshar mantra ashtadakshar mantra is so much powerful that is topmost powerful mantra you can't even imagine it is out of a range of expectation just by getting this mantra gopukumar just becoming uh, unconscious by just getting this mantra so that adi guru by bhagwan adi guru that adi guru by bhagwan just by getting that sanskar that according to his own dvijanm dvijatva he is getting that dvijanm second birth by bhagwat kripa by getting the gayatri from bhagwan the actual meaning is that that the actual sound coming from the flute of krishna that vamshi dhvani i have already heard from gurudev as well that gurudev speaking to me that you see that uh, now you are actually uh, doing gayatri that mahamantra what you are doing that jugal mantra that vamshi dhvani that flute is all the same afterwards you will uh, come to know just by chanting slowly steadily that kind of a flute transcendental flute of krishna you will hear that the actual meaning is that that bhagwan that bhagwan that bhagwan's flute is prakrit shabd brahm and that from that same flute that murli nath that satchidanand may that shabd brahm a prakrit shabd brahm is actually manifested in the form of flute that infinity vedas what is the actual adarsh the actual outcome and conclusion of all the vedas what is there which is actually in the transcendental uh, voice of krishna it means that infinity vedas what are the actual adarsh and conclusive portion of all the vedas what we get the information from that vedas it is already there inside the flute of krishna that transcendental sound of krishna from the flute it is already there in all the vedas conclusive part of all the vedas previously i have spoken that gayatri is just a song of the uh, vedic which just provides us more peacefulness and it is nothing it is just one kind of vedic chhanda that one song is of vedas it is it is just a song of vedas that's it previously it was told now uh, about this about gayatri and in this vedic chhand <coughs> that some kind of particular dhyan about some dhyan and some prayer actually is there which is focused on one prayer prarthana one prayer is there and one meditation is there dhyan 
and one prarthana prarthana means prayer about this i will be just discussing it tomorrow regarding this one is meditation and one is prayer in kam gayatri that uh, <coughs> in all the gayatris it is a topmost because in gayatri that brahm gayatri that what brahm gayatri other gayatris can also be there apart from brahm gayatri but kam gayatri it is uh, all the uh, uh, most uh, valuable and most shreshth topmost of all the gayatris kam gayatri because there is one kind of uh, gayatri means there is one dhyan and one prarthana means meditation and prayer is there but this kam gayatri that is the topmost chit vilas is there in that that in brahma gayatri what we are having in this brahma gayatri that definitely one prayer is there but there definitely some kind of connection of material world is there that kind of connection of this material world that are kind of uh, <coughs> anya vilash expectation actually is getting connected with it when actually it is getting completely off that kind of the actual mool the actual root of all that in order to slowly steadily just need to cut that and you just need to separate it and i will be just becoming uh, eligible that is the actual meaning of brahma gayatri but this kam gayatri what it is this is actually topmost chit vilas mein in this there is no kind of any smell of material conception in that that ka brahma gayatri in brahma gayatri the openly just to speak brahma gayatri is not at all good but still burbuvasva slowly slowly this mantra is there i'll be just speaking that savitur varenyam savitur varenyam ha bhargo devasho ke bhargo kon hai who is the bhargo who is bhargo actually and who is savita so what is that actual meaning what it is so that the sampurn kam gayatri and chit vilas and brahm in brahm gayatri what it is some kind of material conception is there related to this material world <coughs> there is lot of power of brahm gayatri also but still but still this it cannot it is just in order to get away from this material world it actually used and this kam gayatri that's topmost chit vilas mein and there is no other gayatri that no other kind of gayatri it's not like that whatever kind of gayatri it is not like that in equivalent to kam gayatri that ashta daksha shar mantra after that that gayatri that is called kam gayatri after astadash akshar mantra if gayatri you are getting that is called kam gayatri and that is a topmost dasakshar mantra that dasakshar mantra is there and ashta dakshakshar mahim mantra is already the other mantra dasakshar mantra that kind of japa when you are doing that aur hamara and in our body sampraday we can see that ashta dakshakshar mantra both the mantras are actually aprakrit and are very beautiful or and this gayatri also that mantra to speak is not at all good to speak but what to do i am actually here to summarize that point that i have told you the actual seed of that seed mantra then who will be actually worshipable and meditated on that pushmanayo there is actually in depth vichar is there very much in depth vichar is there that krishna he is actually a prakrit kamdev krishna is a prakrit kamdev and he is actually attracting me that material world in this material world, what is actually attracting me that kamdev in this material world this material kamdev after taking birth he is just as a <coughs> as our age is increasing some kind of kama is getting inside us this is actually prakrit kamdev material kamdev and aprakrit kamdev is bhagwan himself 
and when we are just going towards attracted towards bhagwan and when we'll be feeling attraction more towards bhagwan more and more attraction we are feeling towards bhagwan that is more and more good that is more and more good want to be attracted by bhagwan ye sabse bada that is the top most uh, thing that by bhagwan when we are feeling attracted towards bhagwan that is the top most attraction we are feeling that is the top most thing in our life and the top most amazing point but in this material world when our uh, age is increasing as our body is increasing that uh, we are getting towards the pogand kashor leela kashor uh, kashor and young and in a young age we are com- uh, coming that kind of prakrit kaam is coming nobody has to teach that automatically it is coming just as we are increasing our age and our body is getting increased in the young age that kind of prakrit kaam is increasing is automatically manifested that this material kaam is that bow that the arrow coming from the bow of the material kaam if it is just going every person will get uh, wounded and injured the actual p- p- purush will get injured by that prakrit kama zero and the actual beej mantra and after that kama devayo vidmahe pushpavanai dimahi tat no anango prachodaya in this gayatri that shri kopijan vallab that paripurna top most dhyan and meditate meditation of that leela of that aprakrit kaam dev gopijan vallab that in the leela of bhagwan also you can get uh, manifest in that in this gayatri that shri gopijan vallab paripurna top most meditation you can get and you can get manifested in the leela of uh, that uh, uh, gopijan vallab also that same aprakrit uh, uh, anand top most happiness you can get that top most aprakrit anand by that aprakrit kaam bhagwan it is you will feel uh, attraction towards bhagwan that is very much important and necessary that in that same gayatri shri gopijan vallab towards him that kind of top most meditation and the kind of leela getting manifested inside our heart of that gopijan vallab we should uh, just be praying to get attracted towards the transcendental swarup of that aprakrit kamdev and it is actually in discussed here and in the chit jagat apart from that top most utkrist and the top most prem chesta prema level you cannot get in a prakrit jagat more than this uh, it cannot be more beneficial and more uh, good than that in this material world apart from that top most utkrist and top most prem vilas nothing you can found that by same gayatri that brahma ji maharaj it is coming on to the in the in the ears of brahma and apart when it is getting manifested in the ears of brahma ji that Bha- Bha- brahma ji just got the second dujat Bra- dujat birth the second birth brahma ji got after hearing this gayatri and he got the second birth after that dui janmatva means the second birth brahma ji has got and after getting that uh, uh, second birth that same gayatri she uh, he actually started brahma ji started speaking and uh, glorifying this gayatri only that those jeevas that we are actually very much lucky that our luck is very much good but still it is very ill why because this top most uh, rare diamond also we are getting but still we are actually getting lost so that's why all those jeevas according to in the life of all those jeevas that uh, gayatri tatva he is uh, he has got that gayatri tatva or has got that gayatri tatva in their life for them definitely that they will get the transcendental birth it means that they will be leaving one birth and they will be taking the transcendental birth of course if that actual uh, uh, gayatri they have heard understood what i am speaking if that in actual swarup they have just taken the mantra and they have just manifested this mantra inside their uh, then only it is possible otherwise it is not at all possible 
that definitely after that they will be getting that aprakrit jan they will be just leaving this body and they will be get, taking the aprakrit janma that all those bonded jivas that um, in this material sansar all those uh, materially bonded people that kind of material sansar what they are that kind of swabhav and according to their swabhav behavior and once they are actually getting this sanskar because we know that in this material world that uh, varnashram dharma the actual uh, uh, categorization this categorization of varnashram is there why because up till in bonded condition when he will be staying then he will be staying in the bonded condition up till that point this kind of varna and ashram this kind of categorization it in scientific uh, in scientific explanation and in scientific categorization if we do if we have to follow that in scientific scientifically definitely you will get at topmost atma mangal in your life up till when the uh, jiva is in the materially bonded condition then definitely he has to follow this varna ashram dharma when he will be getting onto the paramhans platform then this varna ashram dharma it is of no use at all but still it is still effective for aratma mangal guna karma vibhag so gun aur karma gun and karma according to the categorization of gun and vibhag so tasho kartaram upi vidhimam akartaram abhayam bhagwan ne bataya bhagwan actually speaking this point that all those bonded jivas that all those bonded jivas that kind of material sansar according to their behavior and according to the vansh that they are getting that dujat the second birth that according to the gun and karma what they do and apart from that that in a prakrit jagat in order to get to entry into that a prakrit jagat that without that it is not at all possible without getting that dujat the when at the 8 from 8 to 12 years old that in our material world <coughs> that dwaj sanskar uh, we are getting that gayatri mantra when we are getting that janayu we are getting sacred thread it is more and more infinitely uh, more and more uh, topmost this uh, aprakrit jagat in order to get that uh, the mantra we are getting to get inside the ap- aprakrit jagat that is more and more uh, uh, topmost than what we are getting at the time of getting the dwaj sanskar why because in the chid vishay after getting dikshit in that transcendental that when you are getting the transcendental birth by that only you can get entry into this transcendental world and that is a topmost mangal of all the jeevas what they can get you have an understand what i am speaking that in this material world what we are getting actually getting this gayatri that uh, that by the actual uh, request the actual uh, instruction of bhagwan that bhagwan actually giving the instructions and rules and regulations regarding the dwij janma and according to the varna and ashram that kind of according to that categorization that kind of brahman bhav that brahman sanskar after getting that that uh, janeu sanskar that sacred thread sanskar what kind of gayatri we are getting that what is the actual rules of this uh, material world it is more and more infinity time better than that it is just uh, in order to get that brahmanatva siddhi for that purpose only it is given to us that this janeu sanskar what we are getting at least in uh, in our life it at least we should get brahmanatva siddhi there should not be any shudratva shatriyatva vaishyasya that shudratva should not be staying inside of inside us that brahmanatva we should get at least inside our life that's why this gayatri is given to us but that transcendental world in order to get into that transcendental world that kind of uh, transcendental gayatri mantra we are getting that kam gayatri according with that there is no connection with the material world at all that gayatri mantra after getting that we will become brahman and we can do anything but this mantra when you will be getting that this transcendental brahm gayatri that kind of uh, material connection of all those materially bonded people that in this material world that according to the behavior and nature according to that dwijatva sanskar they are getting that it is more and more infinity time better than that transcendental diksha 
that adhikar of the transcendental world that sanskar which you are getting that by kam gaitri you will that is more and more infinity time better why because in chit vishay that in order to get manifest in that chit vishes that i am not at all of this material world i am actually chinmay i have no connection of this material world with me so only according to my own karm phal i am actually getting this and in chit vishay after getting uh, manifested in that uh, transcendental and after that i am getting a prakrit janm by that only that chit jagat swarup i am getting that topmost extreme gain for a jiva what he can attain in his life apart from that topmost benefit he cannot get in his life that is a topmost of prakrit uh, lab he can get in his life भगवान that i have given this to you the significance of gayatri but it's not at all good to speak openly but what to do we have to speak that so that you can understand to just speak the mantra openly it's not at all good it is not at all uh, eligible to everyone can hear that so that's why that just by speaking the mantra openly if you discuss the open discussion it is strictly prohibited gurudev always used to speak strictly prohibit this but still i am actually discussing it still i have to discuss something about that and after that when you'll go in in the 28 number shloka actually you can see tarya prabhutyo atho vidhir vigyato tattu sagarah tushtavo vedu sareno stotreno aneno keshavam i was you understand the point what i'm speaking tarya prabhutyo this uh, this this that 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 just by remembering this Kaitri, it is just getting manifested in the the form of that Brahmaji, that getting, uh, the realization of that tattva, ocean of tattva. he has realized that by just uh, speaking that Gayatri, the actual ocean of tattva, not that normal tattva, he is getting the ocean of tattva. and after that bhagwan shri krishna he can just find the uh, vedas of all the vedas are there in din krishna and he is actually uh, glorifying krishna by that so, by speaking trai it means ved is actually compared with trai that rij sam yajur this three trai means three atharve that just came afterwards so whatever be the case originally there were actually three trai ved vedas are actually three but uh, collectively we speak four vedas athar ved came later rig sam and yajur these three came early and athar ved just came later maybe uh, from the four mouths of brahma that four vedas are actually coming respectively but still that originally there were rig rig sam and yajur these three vedas are actually uh, getting uh, there is importance is more and that's why that vedas are actually speaking three we are speaking them and tarya prabuddh atho vidhir vigyato tattu sagarah tushtavo vedu sarena stotreno aneno keshavam bhagwan ne khud bata bhagwan himself speaking this point vedasya sarvi rama vedu vedu vid मई इन 
it is of three types a three kind of uh, rhymes rhythm of the it it comes in this uh, vedas rhymes when you are speaking that that same trimai three just by remembering that gayatri when you are remembering that brahma ji is getting into the realization of that ocean of tattva of the of the ocean of tattva and after that by this same mantra he can he is speaking glorifying krishna by sarva ved sar and he is just glorifying krishna by that the actual meaning is that that kam gayatri just by remembering kam gayatri that i am actually the dasi of krishna i am the servant i am in kam gayatri that is the actual secret reason that a prakrit kamdev is my only a purush and we are actually female that by the actual realization of kam gayatri that i am actually the dasi of krishna that servant of krishna she servant of krishna this actually you are realizing that and krishna dasit what mahaprabhu has told already in the shikshashtakam you can understand in that is the only thing which is written in shikshashtakam also in shikshashtakam what it is written this is the same thing written there also na this is the only point which is discussed in shikshashtakam also bhagwan speaking this point asrishava padartam pinastu mam adar asrishava padartam pinastu mam adarshanan marmato kartuva jatha tatha vidhatram puto matana tasu saiva ye sabhi ke dwara this by this everything uh, mahaprabhu actually in shikshashtakam has just describing this same bhava that uh, that in the vamshi nam of krishna that same chaitanya mahaprabhu describing that that in kam gayatri whatever is there actually each and everything is all the same what mahamantri is having that the actual uh, instruction the actual approaching to approaching towards the same end the actual uh, conclusion is the same that is krishna prem so this kam gayatri just by remembering meditating this uh, and just by doing the jap of this kam gayatri and meditating on it that i am the actual she servant of krishna if you are actually feeling that that i am the she servant of krishna and krishna is the only purush and the kind of mystery and hidden secret behind this krishna dasatva maybe you are getting that uh, servantship servant servantship of krishna but still the actual secrecy behind it is that if you can get that at that time it is not at all coming inside you but still that brahma ji is chit and achit that tat sagar that conception he has developed and it get get into his realization that all the infinity ved vakya it is all that all the time actually present there inside that only and all the ocean of tatva siddhant actually comes into brahma ji maharaj all the all the ocean of vedas actually come inside brahma ji maharaj and he actually just speaking the actual conclusive point of all the vedas and he is glorifying that after getting the realization of that tat siddhant that aprakrit transcendental kam gayatri just by focusing on that with that transcendental realization which he got brahma ji maharaj has just uh, made some kind of stuff stotra by that stuff stotra he can just glorify bhagwan he has just the aradhana has done the aradhana and glorifying bhagwan by that stuff and this is the actually transcendental uh, uh, stotra part that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu ji is when going to south india he has taken this uh, brahma samhita from fifth fifth canto only the fifth canto brahma samhita he has taken it from south india why because here brahma ji what has he has realized himself about that it is written brahma ji has just glorified that in brahm samhita that chatushloki bhagavat in in bhagavad ji mahapuran it is already written in about chatushloki bhagavat that is the actual instruction of bhagwan that bhagwan has given it and after that bhagwan has given it to us but what it is actually it is actually given to brahma ji maharaj chatushloki bhagavat in bhag in that bhagwan is already speaking to brahma ji maharaj what he is speaking this is this is only that or what is there 
दैट इज द ओनली थिंग ना दैट ब्रह्मा जी दैट चिद एंड अचिद दिस विवेक दैट तत्व सागर द ओशन ऑफ तत्व ही इज रियलाइज दैट दैट वॉट इज चिद एंड वॉट इज अचिद दिस कृष्ण दास टू द सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्ण सो द सर्वेंट सर्वेंट शिप ऑफ कृष्ण इज एक्चुअली हिडन इट इज नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग रियलाइज अप टिल दैट पॉइंट इन ब्रह्मा बट नाउ ही हैज रियलाइज दैट पॉइंट एंड वेन ही रियलाइज दिस मिस्ट्री एंड सीक्रेसी ऑफ सर्वेंट शिप ऑफ सर्वेंट शिप ऑफ कृष्ण दैट काइंड ऑफ चिद एंड अचिद विवेक दैट काइंड ऑफ तत्व ओशन ऑफ तत्व ही गॉट दैट रियलाइजेशन अबाउट दैट by is chanting that kaam gaitri sarasam tadanchu gyan gudam a javanaham jatha bhav yad roop guna karma kah tatva vigyan vastu te madan upra ek vata hai om nivas mamagri nanya ja sarasat param pashyadam jadi chacha jav sisu de sosmi ho riti artham yat pratitna pratit chatmani tat vidvat atmanamayam jatha vasi sadma यथा महानी भूता उच्चवचेशोनु प्रविष्ट न प्रविष्टा तथा तेषु नेशु अहम एतावे जिज्ञास तत्व जिज्ञासु नैवैतिरिकाभ्याम जो कुछ भी है वॉट एवर विद इज डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली एवरीथिंग इज भगवान ओनली and after that it is written that this kind of instructions what i am giving that this kind of instructions which i am giving you giving it to you that i have given to you that definitely you have to take it directly with deep meditation you just need to accept what all instructions i am speaking to you that absolute by absolute meditation you just need to accept it by just taking the support of this actual support of this that this tatva ocean of tatva when you will take support you will uh, be taking that in your life at the time of this creation still when you will be busy in the creation but still by be getting busy in creation you will not at all getting attracted towards that creation you will getting totally detached from the uh, creation tatva there will not be any kind of uh, deta- attachment towards the creation you will not get you will not feel attracted towards creation bhagwan himself speaking this point that this kind of uh, creation tatva that it is actually the work of rajagun but still it's a work of passion but still it is actually uh, topmost uh, uh, but by just uh, doing this seva also in your life this kind of uh, attachment you will not feel for this creation tatva at all that you will not get attracted towards you just uh, be sure about that you don't need to worry about that i am giving you full kripa you understand the point what i'm speaking or baad mein and after that brahma ji maharaj what he has realized himself that brahma ji what he has realized himself directly this direct realization that he has written and just by glorifying it in the form of stav and stotras he has just uh, glorified that in on to the lotus feet of bhagwan he has just written he has just uh, done aradhana of bhagwan chinta mani prakara satma su kalpa vikshu laksha priti su suravi ravi palayam tam lakshmi shahasra sato sammama sibmanam gobindamadi purusham tamaham bajami चिंता मणि पकर सदम सुगल प्रविक्षो लक्ष्य विधि सुसरवी रवि पालयम तम लक्ष्मी सहस्र सत संभव सेत्व मानम गोविंदमादि पुरुषम तम हम भजामि मतलब इट मींस दैट इंफिनिटी एंड इंफिनिटी कल्प्स दैट इंफिनिटी कल्प्स दिस चिंता मणि निकर कोठी दैट चिंता मणि धाम दैट all uh, that uh, uh, 
oceans waters whatever is there in that transcendental dham it is actually decorated with that transcendental beauty of the dham that uh, who are actually just uh, that govind who is actually the infinity uh, maintainer of all the uh, surbi cows and infinity lakshmis she is he is actually getting served by infinity lakshmis and getting the topmost vilas of prema siddh prema he is getting and he is getting served by that that same govind he is that same adi purush i want to just do the bhajan of that same adi purush govind you understand the point that infinity infinity kalp vriksha and there is chintamani uh, trees oceans water everything is there in that uh, transcendental dham who is serving krishna by that and all the surbi cows infinity kamdhenu cows which actually who is actually maintaining those cow dhenu kamdhenu cows surbi cows and infinity lakshmis here actually lakshmis means that uh, lakshmi here that that infinity lakshmis they are actually that prem seva he is actually served by them all the time that by that prem seva he is served by those infinity lakshmis that adi purush govind i am actually playing dandavan on his lotus feet i am glorifying him i want to do his bhajan स्पेशली सनातन गोस्वामी गॉड द टच स्टोन द टच स्टोन मीन्स दैट सेम स्टोन दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टोन बाय जस्ट टचिंग दैट स्टोन सो मच पावर इज देयर दैट इवन बाय टचिंग विद द स्टील इट विल बिकम गोल्ड द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ स्टील द साइंटिस्ट हैव जस्ट बिकम सो मच अमेज्ड दैट हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल दे जस्ट नीड टू एक्सेप्ट दिस पॉइंट दैट हाउ इट कैन बी सम काइंड ऑफ सच मेटल और स्टोन इज देर अवेलेबल that it can be there it is possible that kind of stone is available that by which that by which that uh, the actual uh, that the steel uh, property of steel can be converted into gold it means that the molecular structure of steel can become the molecular structure of gold similar to that it is possible that in our shastras also it is written regarding this that that kansa kansa means kansa kansa means uh, uh, copper that by the actual scientific molecular structure change change of the molecular structure the copper by the actual scientific molecular structure structural change it can be converted into uh, other element and scientists also have just uh, discovered that that they can be converted into gold that uh, kansa copper it can get transformed into other element chintamani means that like uh, the touch stone it is touching uh, the steel and it can convert it into gold in the similar manner chintamani means that you, whatever you are thinking it automatically is done automatically that whatever you think that will uh, be done automatically here chintamani word that kind of chinmay ratna transcendental uh, rare diamond here chintamani word it means that that just by remembering automatically it will become true in your life but this chintamani that only and only krishna is chintamani here the chintamani when you are speaking it is actually relating it to krishna chintamani is only krishna and here this word chintamani what we have used here it means that chinmay ratna transcendental diamond jewel the transcendental jewel here i am actually using this word transcendental word that is called transcendental jewel chintamani means that that topmost transcendental jewel by that transcendental jewel that uh, uh, ocean uh, uh, sky everything is actually transcendental on that transcendental bhumi 
and all the four direction there is actually that water it is actually decorated with very very nice jewels and you are feeling it very nice and beautiful it, the whole scenario it means chintamani it is all transcendental in nature and by this word chintamani there actually apart from chinmay ratna there is nothing else and maya shakti that maya shakti by which that kind of five elements it is actually decorating all these five elements in front of us that maya shakti that material potency by that by that material potency that material uh, jada shakti maya shakti what we find it this whole five elements are actually very nicely decorated in front of us in each and every body is actually decorated and made by the maya shakti by the maya potency and uh, different different kind of material things made of five elements we can find it decorated in different different ways and whatever uh, body made of five elements everything is actually made by kheti abo tej marudbam everything is very nicely decorated by maya shakti maya potency of bhagwan ye jo shlok hai this shlok actually in the gita that maya shakti like uh, like all the five elements this whole material world actually is getting created and very nicely decorated in the same way the chid shakti transcendental work to by chinta mani that all the transcendental world is getting established and in that that normal uh, uh, chinta mani we are actually not at all describing that in golok dham that kind of all the ingredients what we find in golok like for making building we need cement balu and everything we required for making a building similarly that chintamani actually is making all the arrangements in that transcendental golok so that chid vastu swarup chintamani that chid jagat that golok transcendental golok is getting established and there actually normal chintamani we cannot uh, find that in golok dham that bhagwan bhagwat avas that golok dham normal ingredients we cannot find and it is very very rare to find that upadya means it is it is very very useful and is very rare to find and it is actually uh, uh, good to see this it is very rare and it is definitely rare and it is upadya and useful as well that the on normal kalpa vriksha what are there kalpa vriksha what i am speaking here kalpa vriksha makes that uh, wish shielding tree that normal normal trees what they can give dharma arth kaam moksha all these uh, fruits it can give that normal kalpa vriksha wish shielding tree it can give them dharma arth kaam and kaam means all kind of uh, material desires he wants he will give that he will give the fruit tree and uh, that normal kalpa vriksha and that golok vrindavan there the vocal predictions there they are actually it will give that topmost prem it will give you that krishna prema inside you that prem vichitra swarup topmost krishna prema in the siddh form it will give you it will have this kind of tendency to give and normal kaam dhenu it can just give us dharma arth kaam and moksha which is material in nature and it will not uh, say no to us and the actual kaam dhenu of golok it will all all the pure devotees that uh, that chidananda milk and chidananda that what actually is coming out of their uh, transcendental uh, than that kind of milk is coming from their transcendental uh, than so it will be coming from the kamdhenu guys of golok and uh, it means then it is dan kari it is topmost transcendental donation and all the pure devotees that all the jivas pure those who have got a place in golok and all those devotees who are actually staying there in that transcendental golok everyone for that pure devotees it is actually that transcendental mink from the kamdhenu cows actually actually donated to them that kind of siddh prema is there in each and every drop of that transcendental milk and all the time they are actually taking that all the time and laksh laksh this word actually which we are using here that laksh doesn't mean lakhs or millions it is actually infinity infinity lakshmis are worshiping krishna 
लक्ष लक्ष मीन्स हेयर लक्ष लख लाख वॉट पेयर इट्स मिलियंस सहस्र शब्द दिस ऑल वर्ड एक्चुअली आर यूजिंग इट इज एक्चुअली टेंडिंग टू इन्फिनिटी इट मीन्स इन्फिन इन्फाइनाइट इट इज नॉट काउंटेबल लाइक मटीरियल मिलियंस एंड करोड इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इट इज इन्फिनिटी हेयर इन लैक लैक सहस्र सहस्र दिस वर्ड एक्चुअली इज इंडिकेटिंग इन्फिनिटी इट इज इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी एंड सम्रम इट मीन्स दैट प्रेम With full prema. Here, sambham means. Sambham in English, which we will speak. There, the word will come avi. Avi. A w e avi. There is some kind of fearfulness in that shraddha, but when it is actually established in that that sambham is there, the sambham is not at all compared with avi. That sambham in in Golok it is not at all possible at all. So sambham means with full respect. That with full prema and with full respect, this is actually sambham. And by this Lakshmi word, I have already told you that that is Gopa Sundaris, Gopikas. Lakshmi means that Gopikas are actually serving that uh, serving that Adi Purush Govind. Adi Purush means. that who is the uh, actual cause and cause and cause of all that in the starting of brahm samhita i've already told sachidananda vigraha anadi adi govindo sarva karana karana this is the actual adi guru so adi purusham means that govindam govind adi purusham adi purusham means govind and after that brahma ji maharaj want to shlok a very nice shlok of brahma ji i will be speaking to you bakara sadma sukalpa viksho laksha piti suravi ravi palayantam lakshmi swas lakshmi shasya satasambhava sebbamanam govindamadi purusham tamaham bajami iska vyakhya this i will just describe to you on uh, top and tomorrow i'll be just discussing about gayatri i have this kind of desire to speak more on gayatri and after that the shlok what it is there kanantam arvind dalaya taksham barhava tanksha masitam mud sundarangam gandarpa kotika maniya vishesh subham govindamadi purusham tamam bajami penum kanantam arvind dalaya taksham बराहव तंशम असिदम मुद सुंदरंगम गंधर्व कोटि कमनीय विशेष शोभम गोविंदमादि पुरुषम तमाम भजामी ए बताए दिस कैन ऑलरेडी बीन टोल्ड पेनुम कनंत मनविंद दलाय तक्षम बराहव तंशम असिदम मुद सुंदरंगम गंधर्व कोटि कमनीय विशेष शोभम गोविंदमादि पुरुष kya hai what actually it's written this murli gan what that flute actually is the krishna is doing that bhagwan actually on the flute he is just uh, uh, doing the flute and playing the flute from the lotus mouth murli alag hai murli is a different thing murli is a very small flute what krishna is uh, blowing and vamshi is actually small as compared to uh, murli each and every uh, flute has a different name murli and uh, vamshi these are different different murli gan tatva ar kamal tal kamapik and just like a lotus flower chakshmu that uh, aankhe kamal that kamapik the eyes are just like lotus flower it is compared with that and mayur puchh ke dwara sar and the head is actually compared with the mayur it is actually decorated with mayur that his uh, mukut that uh, it's decorated with transcendental jewel that uh, on the head it is shikhi puch is there and uh, just by seeing we can see that just like a new cloud actually is there on the sky that just like a very dark cloud and it's very very nice uh, transcendental ghansham body and infinity infinity kandarbs that infinity kamdevs that he is actually attracting them all the time 
that he is actually decorated with that that Adi Purush Govind I actually I always used to do bhajan and Brahma ji is speaking this point Brahma ji what he is speaking After about this, I'll be just discussing it tomorrow. In the actual very deep Siddhant is there in that, and today I'll be just uh, uh, resting up till this point today. Each and every day, one problem is there about the internet. So what to do? I am very much. Uh, uh, I am feeling lot of anand when all the devotees are hearing, but I am feeling very sad when it is happening. So to tomorrow, I'll be just discussing it in deep about this uh, shloka. Etat eva charam brahma, etat eva charam param, etat eva charam gyatva yo jad ichati tashtat. बांचकल पुत्रों के पास सिद्ध हुए चो पतितानं पावने भो मशनाभ्यो नमून